Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Seduce her mind. I'm gonna tell you what, you gotta go for upstairs. You, you gotta go for upstairs. I never forget there was this uh, popular Instagram woman um, um, who, she had an interesting caption. She had an interesting caption. She said, you wanna see the body drop? Aim at the brain. And that's very powerful. And this is especially powerful for men who specifically want to get those very attractive women. Very attractive women. This is especially for them. All women ultimately, but especially for the very attractive ones. And I actually talked about this in my book, uh, Meeting Attractive Women. You know, try to hit, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta hit that personality and everything. Like you got a lot of guys talking about like, uh, you know, looks, money and status and physique, charisma and, you know, masculinity. You know, well, I talk about the PCM, physique, charisma and masculinity. And in there is charisma is connecting with the woman emotionally. And but ultimately all that stuff is the bait. You still got to hit her upstairs. See, one of the problems with a lot of guys, they are looking at the woman just from the outside. Yeah, she pretty. Yeah, she got those big brustices and everything. Big old butt dome, you know, those juicy legs and everything. And for those feet people, they, I mean, she just, she's physically there. She got all that, she get a lot of attention. And a lot of women, they will use that to their advantage to get whatever they want out of the man. But if you're really trying to get with her on a real basis, hit her upstairs, especially the pretty ones. I'm gonna tell you why. They already know they fine. If a, a beautiful woman on average is going to, she gonna get attention from the moment she walks out of her house. Shoot, maybe walk to, walks out her door, like a neighbors or some be checking her out. Uh, you know, people on the public transportation, while she driving and everything, while she at work, she's ducking. In fact, a truly beautiful woman, she's been, she's been ducking guys since she was a little girl. She had to worry about like uh, cousins and uncles and stuff like that. Unfortunately, maybe even daddies, unfortunately. But that's a whole, that takes, that's even a more serious conversation. But I'm gonna tell you what though, a lot of guys looking at their outside, but the key is the inside. Because see, a lot of guys forget these women got personalities. And they interested in a wide variety of things. Like the woman I mentioned who said something, uh, you know, made that statement on IG. She's big into comic books. And in fact, I remember this woman uh, when I was working at this department store. There was this young woman who gave me a lecture on the Avengers movie. <laughs> She gave me a lot, I mean, like, that just talked. She, she was totally into comic books and stuff, like cosplay and all of that. In fact, you see a lot of those cosplay women, a lot of them are very attractive. You look at them, you're like, wow. I remember I took my sons to, a, a, you know, a local Comic-Con, and I have a picture of my youngest son. He's, he's with Super, he's standing next to this uh, young lady dressed like Supergirl. And he giving her that bruh man look where he looking at, he like, I mean, he was checking out her body blatantly. <laughs> My bad. I mean, he wasn't even looking. I was like, man, I got, I got to work on his cool. <laughs> but a lot of guys will see women like that and think, oh, yeah, well, let me give her some money. Let me do all this. Or I got to look like Chad or anything. Hit her up here. She still got that mind. Like, I remember, um, I remember this old TV show, The X-Files. This woman, young lady, I was dealing with for a bit. She was actually been in a couple of, uh, she's actually been in a couple of movies like bit parts and everything, science fiction movies at that, bit parts and stuff. You know how they got like a minor character might say one word or two, you know? She's been in a couple of those. She was the one who broke down the X-Files for me. She was, she was the one telling me, say, Ron, you gotta check this out. You know, we on, we on that date and stuff. She's talking about UFOs and all of that. You know what, seriously, go upstairs. Go upstairs, see what's on her mind, see what she like. Because see, here's the thing. Like I know about this situation with this one woman. She told me she went on a date with this guy and the whole date, instead of talking with her, like really talking with her, he's like, oh, you're beautiful. Oh, you're beautiful. But she was more of an intellectual. Like she was, uh, uh, I'll just say she, her IQ, her tested IQ as a child was like 166. 
like very smart. Like her brain is like boom, boom, boom and everything. The guys that she showed interest in are always more on the intellectual side who would actually have conversations with her. See, and especially if you that intellectual type of dude, you, you know what? You know you're not that Chad or Tyrone or that dude with that swag. And even though those women still want an attractive man, if you just fix yourself up a bit and hit her mentally. Now, it might not be that big boom, like she wants you to just drop dead and everything, like she gonna stop everything right there. You gonna have to work it, but let me think about the title of this podcast, well, video. Seduce. Seduction ain't a quick thing. Seduction is pulling someone into your world. It's not quick. It's a subtle thing. It takes some time. So if you if you trying to get her into your world when you know what, you might not be her normal type. You know, you, you yeah, it's like, yeah, you know, you work out, but you ain't gonna be no fitness model. You don't got that model face, but you fix up what you got, hit her upstairs. Now it takes a while. Now some dudes will say it don't work, but a lot of dudes don't hit the woman in her mind. That's the key. Find out, find out what she about. You know, she say she's showing interest in something, boom. That's something I've always did personally. I can attest to that. I mean, I remember, I remember so many, like I told you about one, one young lady I dealt with for a bit, and we still cool, we still Facebook friends. Uh, you know, she talked about science fiction and all of that, and plus she was a writer too. I'm a writer. Find out their personality. I never forget, I remember a conversation with this fine ass Argentinian woman, uh, back in the day and stuff. We were just talking about politics. <laughs> we were talking about politics. That's all, but that was her thing. Find out what's on her mind. I'll always find out. Cause yeah, she fine. And uh, you see, here's the thing, especially, and that's why I say, especially with the fine ones, they get told that all the time. It's like, ho hum, ho hum, ho hum. You ain't telling them, you ain't blowing their mind telling them, oh, you fine. She done heard it from everybody. In fact, it gets on her nerves. But if you meet her, you see she fine, you don't say anything about that. And you'll say, I don't know, say she's wearing a shirt or say she wearing a symbol, like, okay, with this uh, symbol behind me, the Gi and Yami. If I see that on a woman, the first thing, oh, okay, that's what's up. I already know, have an idea about it. We'll start talking about that. I remember I saw a woman, she had the tower symbol of yin and yang uh, and some mirror rings. I was like, oh, okay, you start talking about it. There's a, uh, Woman, uh, young lady, fine young lady at my post office, she got a, a Ganesh uh, tattoo on her arm. So I already know she's kind of into some uh, Hindu type of stuff. So I'm like, okay. And she's always real friendly and stuff. So it's like, that's the opening of the conversation. See, find it like, first scan the woman, see if there's any symbol on her that she could like really espouse on. Maybe she's wearing a shirt with a certain saying, boom. That's typically a reflection of where her mind is at. Try to get an idea where her head is at, go there. And then as you're talking with her, be sure, just keep your, don't, don't be like lingering on her breasts. Yeah, they big and stuff. And she, once you'll be impressed that you keeping, you listening to her, that you looking at her and listening, just listen. See women, I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna tell you what, women typically use 30,000 words a day Men typically use 10,000, they love to talk. All you have to do is get them talking about something they like and just show a genuine interest. Just show a genuine interest. And it's like, I don't care what it is. Don't be like, Sue, cause I know a lady friend I have right now, lady friend, real, real cool. She could probably hack your computer. <laughs> I was joking with her about it too. She could like write computer programs, like six figures writing computer programs. <laughs> I was like, I was like, hmm. I said, yeah, some nerdy guy. Shoot, love you. In fact, that's part of why we click anyway, because we we could sit there and have that intellectual conversation for two hours, you know. So I mean, that's the thing, though. That's the thing. Go for up here. Go for especially, the reason why I say the beautiful women. Now, the more average looking women, they typically, average and even ugly, they want somebody to say they're beautiful. So if you say, oh, you pretty or something, you know, they might work with them. But the beautiful ones, they want you to go for up here. They want you to go for up here. Cause then you already stand out. 
you already stand out. And even if you ain't her physical type, she'll start looking because what it'll do, it'll make you validate in her mind and it'll make her feel good that somebody actually wants to find out what she about. That's very important and that somebody's listening to her. Everybody wants to be acknowledged for whatever they have skills in. You know, I know another beautiful uh, young lady, we still cool, we still cool, you know? We used to, <laughs> the stuff she's, I never forget, I mentioned her before. <laughs> you know, she's like, mom, you gotta get a Mac. She could probably hack your computer too. Shoot, I have a very beautiful cousin in her 50s and stuff. She can take a computer apart and everything. And her, her, one of her complaints was a lot of guys step into it, they ain't trying to hit her upstairs. They just talk about how pretty she is and everything. Cause she in her fifties, but she could easily pass for someone in her thirties and stuff. But you know, I grew up with, her. I know she's more on an intellectual tip anyway. You gotta go upstairs with her. Gotta go upstairs, all right? And, and just to be clear with that, even though I say you might not look like that fashion model or anything like that, still fix your stuff up. Don't go upstairs and you're looking like some bum. Still just fix yourself up, get in the best shape possible and all of that. Make it easier for yourself, but then hit her upstairs. That's why sometimes you will see a very beautiful woman and she with some guy who looked like a nerd or something. You're like, how's she with him? How's she with him? He hit her upstairs. Because one thing too, there's a lot of beautiful women, uh, regardless of what they look like on some nerd stuff. A whole lot of them. Seriously. Like all those cosplay type of women, you'd be surprised. <laughs> those comic book conventions, you'd be surprised. Yeah, some of them are looking, uh, ain't gonna lie. But then you get a lot of them and stuff. They'd be like, yeah. So hit them, hit them, hit them. Like, in fact, I, I started learning that back in college. I was hanging out with this, uh, I started paying attention. I uh, was hanging out with this uh, really fine woman. I mean, they were trying to get her to be a cheerleader. They were hitting her up. They were approaching her that she was that fine. I remember, you know, I mean, me and her were real cool. And she would actually defend me to people. I remember she was in, I had left my room. She was in my room waiting for me. She's sitting on my bed going through one of my comic books. I was like, that's when I first said, you know what? Beautiful women got other interests. It started then. It didn't quite hit until about two years later, but it started then when I started peeping that. So always remember that, y'all. So anyway, that's all I got for today. Get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.